Welcome tonight to Bible study on the scriptures. Hallelujah. It's so good that you can be with me tonight. And I want to say your presence is beautiful. Hallelujah. And you are beautiful too. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. So welcome to Christ's Life Spring Fellowship. Hallelujah. Your host teacher, David Jawa here. Our services on Sunday at 10 a.m. Tuesday at 7.30 on Zoom or prayer meeting. It's Wednesday, 7.30 on Facebook, Bible study on Galatians. And Friday, well, coming this week is Good Friday. So there will be no Bible study, but we have, we have a program in the morning. And you are welcome to listeners about 10 o'clock. You are welcome to listeners on Good Friday morning when we talk about the death of Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Remember, you could always contact us at David Jaw here at Rogers.com or phone number 416-567-94. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today, we're going to study theology in the church. Last week, we, we talked about the, the canon of Scripture. I told you it was our Bible, the Protestant Bible that we use has 66 books. The Roman Catholic and the Orthodox Christianity, they have more than that. Uh, you want to know about that? Go down to YouTube and you could find our archive there and look into that. I want to encourage you to go to YouTube, David Jow here, and type in the topic that you need to look at and it will come up there and you could get us on YouTube. Hallelujah. Today is theology in the church. We're going to look at one, the nature of theology, two, the function of theology in the church, and three, the method of doing theology in the church. Hallelujah. So first of all, we're going to look at the nature of theology. Hallelujah. Well, this study on the Word, on the Scripture, is based on the theology of the Scripture. So when we start studying on the Friday night, we, we began a series of study based upon theology. Now we're going to define theology or in the nature of theology. We're going to look at definitions and we're going to look what is theology and the, 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 the basic part that theology plays in the church. You as a Christian, you are to know the theology of the church that you attend. Your pastor or teacher or some bishop or somebody there he is there to teach you about theology. And there are different topics 
in geology. Today, let's look at the nature of geology. What are the basic matter of geology? What is its nature, its function, and method of geology? A proposed definition is geology is the content of Christian faith as set forth in orderly exposition by the Christian community. The content of the Christian faith what are some of the content? For example, God, salvation, the second coming. Those are content matter within theology, faith, justification. Those are topics within theology. So, and they are based upon our faith. So when we are studying theology, we are studying on our faith. And the Christian community is the church. The church. So we need to get the ground laid, the foundation laid. What is a Christian community. It just simply means a church that you attend, that you go to, a place of worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Geology is concerned with truth. Hallelujah. Geology is concerned with truth. So theology is based upon truths that are found in the scripture. And the truths have to be spelled out to us to understand. That is why we have the topic or the name theology. The theology of your faith. The theology of the second coming. Hallelujah. Now this means a faithful, accurate explanation or analysis of the content of the Christian faith. We have to make a, a proper analysis of the content, the, the, the content matter, which is the subject that you are learning, the subject that we are doing, for example, Right now, we are doing the scriptures, the theology of the scriptures. And we are going to look at all the truths that are found in the scripture about theology. Hallelujah. It means the conviction of faith. The conviction of Christian faith to be the truth about God, about man, about salvation, and so forth. So, the truth that is based on God, the truth that is based on man, the truth that is based on salvation. Hallelujah. So we are studying theology of man, the origin of man, 
What was man like before he sinned? What was man like after he was sinned? The results of the fall and so forth. The end of man, the, uh, the last position, a last place where we see man in the Bible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Geology is confirmed with more than accuracy. It, it has accuracy, but more than accuracy. It is concerned with the truth. It's concerned with what? The truth. Jesus said, you shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. Hallelujah. So when I teach here, my responsibility is to speak the truth. The truth is going to conform us to the reality of our faith. The truth going to set us free. The truth going to bring revelation knowledge to us. Hallelujah. So theology is the truth that we speak concerning the Bible. Hallelujah. The focus of theology is God. For although theology deals with the whole rung of Christian, of Christian truth. The focal point is God. Theology is based upon God. We're going to look at the meaning just now. Theology is based. So when you studying or when you are expositioning Theology, you are talking about God. If I say I'm talking about theology about the Bible, it means the God of the Bible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now the word theology derives from two words. Theology. It has theos and logos. Say that. Theos and logos. Now, the former meaning of God and the latter means word. So, theos means God. The God, Theo, God, and Logos means word or speaking or discourse. Hence, word about God. So theology means word about who? God. Geology means word about God, speaking about God, discourse about God. So whenever I come to a study, I'm talking about God. So within my study, I have a topic in geology that is based upon God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word theology is also frequently used as an all-inclusive in term to refer to the study of whatever has to do with the Bible, the church, and the Christian life. So when I talk about the geology that we have 
I'm talking about the church. I'm talking about the Bible. I'm talking about the Christian life. So today, we are talking about the Bible. We are going to speak also about the church. We are talking about the Christian life. So when you study a topic within geology, it is based upon the Bible. The Bible becomes your text, the logos. The church is a recipient. The people that hear and understand the Christian life is the way of life, the way we conduct ourselves. And we are, uh, the, our conduct is based upon the theology that we have. Again, I will repeat that. Our conduct, our way of life is based upon the theology that we have. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For example, you go into a certain church that has a theology like, for example, the Baptist, the Roman Catholic, the Anglican, they all have different methods of conducting their services based upon what they learn in the scriptures. Hallelujah. The truth is something personal. And we're going to get into that later. Truth. Not many people follow the truth. And some of us have a theology that is based upon certain errors of interpretation in the, in the, in, in the Word of God, in the Bible. Hallelujah. On the next study, I will talk about the ways of interpreting the scripture. Hallelujah. Geology is not just doctrine, but the articulation of relationships and connections among various doctrines. So, there is a connection in our doctrine of faith. Some people believe that you are saved by grace through faith. Some people believe that you are saved by grace, but you got to do laws. Some people believe that you got to observe certain things, and only the pastor could be the the, the 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 one that interprets the scripture. Some people don't have you go to pray, you don't go before God, you go before a priest. So they have certain theologies, and that is why it is very important that we have the Holy Spirit as our guide to interpret the scriptures, hallelujah. The concern is the whole concept of God. Our theology must be not just on one verse, or one portion of scripture, but our theology must have the whole Bible involved. If we're going to say we are talking about faith, we are not talking that faith in one particular aspect, but we're looking at faith 
throughout the scriptures. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it must be comprehensively and, or, and done in an orderly manner. Hallelujah. Biblical geology is, our, is orderly arrangement and explication of teachings of the Baba. This may be subdivided to Old Testament, New Testament, and further, for example, the Pauline epistles and Johnning epistles. Now, may I do some explanation? If we're going to study the Bible, we got to start look at it as a whole. As a what? Whole. Not taking fractions of the Bible. But look at it as a whole. When we are studying the Bible, we're going to realize that 39 books are Old Testament. In the 39 books, we have the laws. We have the historical books. We have the personal books that speak to you personally, like Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastic, and so forth. They speak to you personally. And then we have the prophets. So when we are studying the Old Testament, we can term it Old Testament theology because the time, the, the age in which they live is different than now. So when we interpret the word, we have to interpret it based upon what they had at that time. For at certain times in history of man, there was no laws. Then came the laws. Then came the prophets and so on. Hallelujah. In the New Testament theology, we have the, the gospel. We have the epistles. We have the book of Revelation. We have the, the historical book of Acts of the Apostles. Hallelujah. So when we're going to make a study, we have to know how we are interpreting. Before, in the Old Testament, that was before Christ. In the New Testament, is after Christ. Hallelujah. So it is the B.C. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. So that is so much based upon the definitions of theology. Let us look at the function of theology. The function of theology. Theology is a function of the Christian community or the church, which has which has had many functions since the earliest days. In addition to the apostle teaching, and the early Christian also devote themselves in fellowship of breaking and bread. So you find in the, the New Testament, you have the apostles teaching. We have where the Christians meet and the fellowship together by the breaking of bread. And they spend time listening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now theology has a number of functions. Among them are Clarifications. 
a clarification. Two, integration. Three, correction. Four, declaration. Five, challenge. Challenge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us first look at clarification. Clarification. It is important to set forth as early as possible what is that the Christian community or the church affirms. What is it that we believe? What is it that we uphold as a church? What is it that we believe and we do in the church? What is it that the church affirms? This is primarily for the benefit of persons in the church community or in the church who need instruction in faith often there is a lack of understanding in various doctrinal eras so you look into your church and you see as we talk and we fellowship with one another, that they are people with various beliefs. We all worship, but when we come to the theology, the Word of God, not all of us believe the same thing. And so this is of great importance so that is why we have a topic called theology or the word of God or the study of Bible study where we study the word. And that is why Bible study is very important. Our theology is very important in the church so that we can come to a common understanding and a common interpretation of the scriptures and to affirm ourselves together. So first of all, there must be clarification and the theology that we have, we must teach it and it must be made known within the church. And that is why we have Bible study. That is why I come to you on Wednesday and Friday because I want to teach the Word of God, what Jesus say, what the Bible say concerning this topic. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Secondly, Integration. Integration. Geology should help bring it all together by integrating one truth with another. So that is our faith must be based upon the Word of God. What the Bible say about faith? Abraham believed God. And so forth. And how we are going to interpret our faith in God. Healing. How do we receive healing? We receive healing by faith. We receive healing by laying of hands, by prayer. So our 
integration of the topic of the topic that has been taught bringing them together bringing them together we make a proper integration of the word and we must at all times in our bible study able to integrate geology is not only a matter of clarification of individual doctrine but also the demonstration of how these fit into a total pattern how faith fit in the old in the new testament how faith and healing and so forth fit together hallelujah number 3 reason for theology correction correction geology serves as a corrective to departure from the truth geology serve as a corrective to departure from the truth when people are in the church and they left just because they don't believe what you believe that is they have somehow departed they have somehow been exposed to some strange doctrine for example paul he preached to the galatians and they were saved by grace through faith but some other people came and praised preach grace through faith but you must have the laws you must have the ceremonies and paul said no you don't have to get that is by grace and so there is the correction how what should we believe and why should we believe hallelujah but by articulating as clearly as possible the various truths of the christian faith it indirectly seeks to redress embraces or errors that may have occurred in simple terms geology help you to correct the mistakes that we made in the world that is why we have a study called geology of faith geology of end time we make a study of all these topics and because they help us to correct our ideas look at look at our situation right now there is pre millennium this post millennium that we have people have different beliefs of when jesus will he come would he come before the the tribulation will he come during the tribulation or will he come after the tribulation you have to take the scriptures and examine examine make a study of it and then you come to your decision hallelujah it is essential for the health of christian faith to point away from such deviate or direct devi- de- deviations in the church we must be careful of what we believe don't make what you believe divide you 
Don't make what you believe divide you. You must have a common belief, one doctrine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fourthly, D, declaration. Another function of theology is to make known publicly what it is that the Christian community stands for. We make known publicly what our church what CLF stands for. And CLF going to portray the doctrines that they believe in, the theology that they believe in. We say to the world, this is the banner under which we stand. This is the truth that we proclaim for all to hear salvation true grace of Jesus Christ. We believe in divine healing, the praying of the sick, the laying of the hands, and so forth. So when we have a theology we make a declaration. This is what we stand for. This is what we believe. We believe this. And we pour it out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Challenge. The challenge of theology. Theology moves into areas of Christian thought that have often proved confusing, even divisive, and seek to discover the truth. Through theology, we are able to take in sequence one truth built upon the other truth. And we are able to see that by the lean of hands, we can heal the sick. In the name of Jesus, we can heal the sick. By the anointing of all, we can heal the sick. And so, therefore, theology is based on the word and at the application of that word in what we do. Hallelujah. There are differences of doctrine within various churches, often to the point of separating them one from another. So sometimes you find the Baptists will say no to the assemblies of God. Or the Methodists will say no. Or the Roman Catholic will say no. We don't believe that. That is a challenge. A challenge that we all face in Christendom. That is why the Bible say, study, study to show yourself approved unto God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. I have to close here today. And um, we'll go, go over what we have done. We talk about, uh, we talk about, Geology has different functions to clarify things, to integrate things that we know, to make corrections in our Bible study and so forth, 
to make a declaration, to preach, to teach. And there's a challenge. When we look at the various doctrine and all forms of doctrine, is a challenge. But remember what the Word of God says, study, study to show yourself approved. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we must also remember the nature of theology. And nature is theology. The method of theology. The function of theology. We say the content, the what? The content of our faith, the content of what we believe, the content of what we have set forth. Our exposition is our theology. The content of what we have is based on our theology. So today, I want you to go over this lesson again and look at how God can speak to us through his word. The question, what do you believe? What is your theology? And you have you have you used the various function of geology to examine what you believe, clarification, integration, correction, declaration, and the challenge. Go over the lesson, and if there is any question. You can call me or you can text me. God bless you. Hallelujah. Father Lord, we thank you for your word. And we thank you for theology, the word of God. We thank you what we believe in you. Of faith in you, of faith based upon your word, of faith based on what we believe. And we believe the word of God, we believe the scriptures, and therefore we declare that Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus is master, and Jesus is that way, the truth, and the lie. And when we look to you, we are locked into one theology, that is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I pray that you bless everyone. I pray that you minister to everyone. And take full control in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, this Sunday is Palm Sunday. And so you go to church and you celebrate Jesus in Palm Sunday. God bless you.